Hi guys, this is just going to be a very, very quick reactions video to last night's Doctor Who, which was The Doctor's Wife. Um, amazing. Really enjoyed this episode. Back on form, I think. Um, the beginning of the series has been a little bit slow getting started, but it feels like we're back on track now. It was the Neil Gaiman episode. And it was just amazing. I have my trusty notes here of what I liked, so let's get started. Um, the idea of the Doctor getting post I thought was really nice, that just made him into a kind of more normal guy. I thought that was a really nice little idea that we had. Um, the fact that they just left the universe and went off to another little planet I thought was quite cool. Um, the idea that the soul of the TARDIS could be housed in a woman um, and he could have a chat to her, I thought was really nice. I know that happened with one of the Catherine Tate episodes, um, but this was a different angle that we saw this time. Uh, the Doctor locking Amy and Rory in the TARDIS and being very much, this is Time Lord business, I didn't want you to get in the way, I thought was nice, because even though the Doctor is a really approachable character in this series, it was nice to see that he still had his sort of, no, I don't want people interfering with this, part of my life kind of attitude I thought that was good um the cupboard full of the little um post box messages things I thought was really sweet um and also kind of heartbreaking at the same time when he found those um I really loved the idea that the TARDIS borrowed the doctor and not the other way around and that it's the TARDIS that's been in control all of this time and not the 11 Doctors. I thought that was a fantastic idea. I really, really, really liked that. Um, I liked that we saw the Doctor not knowing what to do, genuinely not knowing what to do. I thought that was nice to see him have that vulnerability in this episode. Uh, Rory being fleshed out more as a character. This seems to be happening more and more every week. He's not the wet blanket that I felt that he was in the last series. So that's really good, seeing a few more sides of him. Uh, it was good to see the scenes with the running around in the corridors of the TARDIS, that was quite cool, seeing an extra bit of the TARDIS um, that we don't normally see. The handmade TARDIS that they make on the house planet was just really cool, just the idea of, oh, I'll just grab loads of bits of stuff and just throw a TARDIS together, that's what I can do. That was pretty cool. Um, I love the fact that we saw Tenant's old control room. Uh, in the existing TARDIS, that they've just found it, um, and the idea that the TARDIS archives all of this stuff, and it's just there somewhere, it's just a case of finding it, like any complex filing system. Uh, I thought that was really cool. And we've got another clue to what's going to happen later in the series, when the um, woman who the TARDIS was in for the whole episode kind of evaporated, as she was dying, her last words to Rory were, the only water in the forest is the river. So, you know, assumption is that that means river song in some context. So we'll see where that goes. Um, yeah, I just really liked this episode. It felt like a proper meaty episode again. It didn't feel like a filler like last week's did. And we didn't have a lot of messing around with this pregnant, not pregnant oh, who's the regenerating girl thing that Moffat set up in the first couple of episodes. I liked that we just left all of that, and this was more an episode of um, kind of learning more about the Doctor's backstory. I thought that was that was cool, just putting little bits in. Um, and it was good to see him and the TARDIS interacting and the whole little argument that they had with him saying that she's uncooperative and never takes him where he wants to go, and she says... She always takes him where he's needed, and her saying that she ne he never reads the instructions and it says, please pull on the door, and he always pushes the door. I thought it was a really nice little sort of scene that they put together there. So all in all, um, thumbs up for this video, uh, this episode. Really liked it. Trailer for next week's, I didn't make any notes on at all. Um, yeah, next week's just looks kind of crazy, the Rebel Flash. Um, so in the trailer there are some people and then it's like a big vat of living goo that's like a flash um, and then later on you saw a few clips of the people have obviously been covered in the flesh because their faces are really flat 
flattened out around their noses. They were probably reminded me a little bit like Voldemort in the Harry Potter films. Like that kind of really flat, snaky look. Uh, but they didn't really give an awful lot away other than there's just, you know, stuff happening, stuff happening, stuff happening, stuff happening for the whole episode. So the trailer kind of indicates that really. Um, I'm going to wrap things up there because this video is getting a little bit long. But that's what I thought for this week's episode. Uh, let me know what you thought, if any of you are watching these videos or are in any way even a little bit interested in what I'm rambling about. And I hope you all have a nice Sunday and I will see you all soon. Okay, bye!